Have you ever wondered what secrets Mars hides beneath its dusty surface? Today I'm revealing astonishing images that NASA doesn't want you to miss. From jaw-dropping landscapes to mysterious rock formations, you'll be shocked by what we've discovered. Let's explore Mars together. It seems rather unassuming. Just a rover looking at a rock. Nothing new, right? Not quite. What you're seeing is the spark of interplanetary exploration. This is Sojourner, the trailblazer that transformed our wildest dreams into reality. Sojourner was more than just a machine. It was humanity's first real taste of extraterrestrial exploration. This little rover, weighing only 25 pounds or 11 and a half kilograms, roamed a foreign hostile planet and sent back a ton of data and images that forever redefined what was possible in space exploration. Take a closer look at this image. Sojourner, with its unassuming presence, is carefully investigating Yogi Rock, a relic of Mars' complex past. This isn't just a rock, it's a storyteller. Its layered surfaces hint at processes that shaped Mars over billions of years. Through Sojourner's lens, we gained a window into an alien world where every groove might reveal secrets of ancient water flows or windswept histories that even now, nearly 30 years later, we're just beginning to understand. This very moment captured in time propelled the next generation of Mars missions. It proved that with a little ingenuity and a bold spirit, we could dispatch explorers to the red planet, turning what was once science fiction into tangible science. Sojourner's quiet but relentless curiosity broke new ground, showing us that pioneering exploration is not measured by size, but by the courage to ask what lies beyond our world. Forget everything you thought you knew about Mars, because beneath its dusty, rust-red surface lies a frozen time capsule. Welcome to Korolev Crater, a Martian ice vault holding one of the red planet's greatest secrets, water. This massive impact crater isn't just a relic of ancient cosmic collisions, it's an insulated cold trap, locking away over 580 trillion gallons of frozen water. That's enough to fill one of Earth's largest lakes, Great Bear Lake in Canada, but let's put it in perspective. If a future Mars colony had 1 million people, and they each use water equivalent to the average American, which is very, very roughly 50,000 gallons per year, this crater alone could sustain them for over 11,000 years. That's not just a few generations, that's a civilization's legacy secured in ice, in just one crater. We're not talking about water ice at the poles or deep beneath the ground. We're talking one single crater. But this isn't just about numbers, it's about possibilities. A crater like this could be the key to sustaining life on Mars, providing water for drinking, agriculture, even fuel for future deep space missions. The red planet isn't as barren as it seems. It's hiding the very resources we need to turn science fiction into reality, right there in plain sight. This isn't just a canyon. It's a planet-sized scar, carved into the Martian crust by forces beyond imagination. This is Valles Marineris, the largest canyon system in the solar system. Stretching over 4,000 kilometers long, this colossal rift is nearly nine times longer than Earth's Grand Canyon. But it's not just long, it's massive. On average, it spans 200 kilometers, but in some places it reaches up to 600 kilometers wide and plunges to depths of up to 11 kilometers. Imagine this canyon on Earth. It would stretch from Los Angeles all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. That's how truly colossal this Martian wonder is. To truly grasp its immense scale, consider this. Its deepest points are a staggering 11 kilometers, 36,000 feet, down, easily surpassing the cruising altitude of a typical commercial airline, which flies around 9,400 to 11,600 meters above sea level. In fact, those depths are deeper than Mount Everest is tall. And at its deepest, Valles Marineris is about as deep as our ocean's deepest point, Challenger Deep. But how did this planet-sized rift come to be? Scientists believe Valles Marineris started as a tectonic crack, formed as the immense Tharsis volcanic region expanded. That's the same region that hosts Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. Over time, erosion, massive landslides, and even ancient water flows may have further widened and deepened this canyon, leaving behind a monument to the violence of Mars' past. Could this canyon hold clues to Mars' ancient climate and possibly life? Could its depths offer a safe haven for future explorers from the harsh Martian elements? Imagine donning a state-of-the-art spacesuit and stepping onto Mars, 
where every detail is as clear as if you were there in person. Thanks to this legendary image captured by NASA's Spirit rover, you don't have to. With a camera boasting the equivalent of perfect 2020 vision, this panorama isn't just a view, it's your personal window into an alien world. Over the course of three Martian days, Sol 620 to 622 in October 2005, Spirit meticulously assembled what we now call the Everest Panorama from the true summit of Husband Hill. And here's where the numbers blow your mind. The rover's panoramic camera offers the clarity of perfect human vision, seeing Mars in spectacular detail. It took three full Martian days for Spirit, from October 1st to the 3rd, 2005, to capture every angle of this masterpiece. This isn't a partial snapshot. It's a complete 360-degree panorama that surrounds you in Martian wonder. The mosaic is stitched together from 81 separate images, each one a piece of the puzzle. Spirit's vantage point on Husband Hill stands about 100 meters higher than the surrounding plains, offering an unrivaled perspective. In one section, you can even see the hazy outlines of hills near Gusev Crater, an incredible 80 kilometers away. Spirit's Everest panorama not only captures the dynamic, shifting hues of Mars's atmosphere, but also reveals the raw power of nature at work. From dust devils swirling in the background to the dramatic interplay of light and shadow across an otherworldly terrain. The brightness of the sky is due to the changing amount of dust in the atmosphere over those three days. In some of the images, you can even see the impact that dust has on visibility in the distance. With each detail intact and every nuance of color preserved, this image stands as a timeless invitation to explore Mars in a way that no simulator or artist's rendering ever could. Imagine landing on Mars and encountering an enigma carved by nature, or perhaps by something far more extraordinary. Welcome to Cydonia, home to the infamous face on Mars. First captured by NASA's Viking 1 orbiter on July 25, 1976, this two-kilometer-wide structure has fueled debates for decades. NASA and others have dismissed it as a mere trick of light and shadow. They've attributed it to pareidolia, our mind's ability to see familiar objects in random noise. Yet others have speculated, what if this was the work of an ancient intelligent civilization? Captured on July 25, 1976, by Viking 1, this image shot marked the start of the face phenomenon. The formation spans roughly two kilometers across, commanding the Martian horizon with its mysterious presence. Positioned at approximately 40.75 degrees north, 9.46 degrees west, deep within the Cydonia region. If one were to entertain the idea of alien construction, some fringe theories suggest an age of around 3 to 3.7 billion years, dating back to the late Noachian period of Mars. Mars's average erosion rate is incredibly slow, around 0.1 micrometers per year. At this rate, a structure existing for 3.5 billion years should have been worn away by hundreds of meters. For perspective, if Earth's great pyramids were built on Mars today, it would take hundreds of thousands to millions of years just for them to show the kind of weathering they exhibit on Earth after 4,500 years. To completely erode them would take an astonishing 1.47 billion years. Yet this face remarkably retains its recognizable form, sparking questions about its resilience. A structure hypothetically built 3.5 billion years ago would be nearly 80% as ancient as Earth's earliest evidence of life. A staggering testament to durability, whether by nature's hand or by advanced engineering. Whether carved by relentless winds and shifting shadows or engineered by a civilization lost to time, the face on Mars stands as a timeless riddle. Its numbers spark the imagination inviting us to wonder what might have been. Was this the work of nature or perhaps a message from an ancient world? In the end, the mystery remains open to interpretation. Is it a natural masterpiece or the relic of an alien past?